everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Digital Ablaze. Hey, guys. Oh, well, real quick, before I do this, I was looking right in the Noodles camera for that one, so. It's definitely not on. Oh, it is on. Is Look that, at that camera going to be the camera that I'm OK to talk into? OK, all right. That's I fine. also I noticed that sure. his camera, like he was adjusting like focus and stuff. So. No, I think he was doing zoom. He was oh, okay. He's doing some zoom action. Anyway, hey everyone, I'm Zoomy so glad zoom. you're here. So was it going in and out on Cody's face? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so great. Oh. What's up, Digital Universe? We love drawing? you guys. We're so happy you're here today. We have. We do have some things. Some conspiracy theories we're going to talk about today. Today's going to be a lot of fun. We want you to join in and participate with us. And the things that work on me that don't work on Cody, or the things that work on Cody but don't work on me, we want to see. Does it work on you guys? Yeah, I was scrolling through TikTok the other day and I just came across this video of these people putting hangers <laughs> on their head and it was causing their heads to turn real real weird real weird ways. Real weird ways. Real weird ways. And I was just like, there's no way that this can be real. And so I came to Rob and I was like, you need to put this hanger on your head because I gotta see if it actually And works I low-key wish we would have saved that for today right. like you had suggested because my reaction was just <laughs> it was so, <laughs> so good. Genuine. And I can't duplicate that today, but you know it's awesome. Yeah so basically what we want to talk about today is there's a lot of weird things that Weird. maybe uh, work for some people and maybe they don't work for other people <laughs> when it comes to, I don't know, even weird body things or even things that society tells us that should work for us. But when it really comes down to it, the one thing that's always constant is God's word. Amen. The one thing that's always true yeah. is Jesus. Yeah. The promises of his healing, the promises of his prosperity, the promises of his salvation, ultimately. Sound mind. It's I mean, all always yeah. constant. It's always true and it's true across the board. And it works for everybody. Exactly. That's the main thing. You know, in John, where it says, thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. Like this may not be true for someone else. And we've heard that saying a lot, your truth, my truth. Right. Well, God's word is truth and it's true for everybody. Right. And so when we accept his word as truth, it'll work in my life, just like it works in Cody's life. That's why the Bible says God is no respecter of persons. Right. He literally wants to bless everybody the same, wants to protect everybody the same, wants to take care of everybody the same. As one of the many reasons why he is such a good God, we need to establish in our hearts his word is truth. Right. And just like it works for Pastor Mark, just like it works for mom and dad, it will work for me as well. But moving into these weird things. I need weird to see things. We gotta, we gotta see this. So first off, I wanna do this. I wanna yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, if you're gonna try this at home, you should try Please. it and post in the comments whether it works for you. We did actually do a study on this and Cody's gonna pop up a, a graphic. Study. We didn't do a study. Well, <laughs> we, we did, did some Google research. We did some this. research, yeah. <laughs> There's actually a scientific study on this and it's, it's uh, it has to, you have to put the hanger in the right spot on your head. There's a little diagram if you read this study where it needs to go because you have to apply pressure on the frontal lopex torbal some or some something. scientific word. And so when you do, like even, uh, look at that, look at that, my head. Now, if you watch it on TikTok, they're like, whip. It, it doesn't whip like that, but, but I can feel. Maybe it does for some people, I don't know. Like, Just a subtle, look a little subtle turn. And I think what's happening, I think my, I'm trying to relieve pressure. So I don't I'm think like, it works for me. I, I tried it yesterday and just nothing happened. I don't think you're putting the pressure in the right spot. It's gotta be right over your head, keeping six feet. It's got, the pressure's gotta be there. Like right above your eye, like the backside of your eyeball. Your Zoom frontal, in real close, dude. It'll get as close as you can get. low pets or whatever it's called. Okay, I feel it a little bit. I don't know if, if it's noticeable to you, but I felt it a little bit there. No. <laughs> I will say this, whether it's making your head turn or not, you look awesome. Yeah, you, that's look, you look great. That's what I think it I is. I mean, look at that. It's, you got a hanger on your head. I, I wish that I could be like the cool kids, because all the cool kids, they seem to fit in. I feel like someone down the line was like, how funny would it be if we started a video trend where everyone's putting hangers on their head for no reason? But there's a study on it. Like uh, this scientific school did a whole study and they talked about the science behind it. And if you apply pressure, right? There, it, see, you got it's gotta be, so when you guys do this, pressure right there, right? Put it, <laughs> put the when your dad's right watching TV, walk up behind him, put a hanger on his head and watch him just lose control. Oh my okay, God. Anyways, try it, let us know if it works. So we got a few others. I got some other ones. I haven't read these yet, so hanger we'll on see head, how weird or cool these are. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have Robert test these out. Oh, so, no. All right, so, okay, okay so supposedly, um, let's start with this one, okay. And you guys can try these at home too. Let us know how it if works out. If you plug your ears, you can hear people better. 
Okay, I know for a fact if you plug your hear, ears, you can hear yourself better. Right. Right, so, so I should be able to hear you so better. I guess I'm gonna talk like uh, this. I can definitely hear me a lot better. Oh, yeah, I you're sound. closing off your whole. <laughs> I can't hear you at all. That, I think I, they said that wrong. I think if you plug your ears, you can hear yourself plug better. Plug your ears to hear people better. Okay, go. Hey, how are you doing? Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what? Hey. How are you doing? What? Hey, how are you doing? It like, it low key sounds like, like when you're out here, my ears aren't plugged. Like it's, I hear you talk, but when I plug them, it's like you're in my head. <laughs> I don't believe that that's true, no. It is! Wow, All that's right. so weird. You are definitely quieter, but there's like a closeness to it. You sound closer to me. Like, you sound like you're actually in my ear lobes. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. No, not lobes, but my inner ear tubes. Yeah, Can, do I not sound like closer to your brain right now? I just feel like I hear you, but I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> see, this doesn't work the same for everybody, but God's word always does. All right, let's does. see here. That's uh, the point we're trying to make. Okay, that's to stop a sneeze. No one has to sneeze at this moment. Place. <laughs> what does it say, though? Is there water in her face? I mean, what, how do you stop? It says, press something? around the bridge of your nose to stop a sneeze. So if you're about to sneeze, you press right here. Okay. And apparently you will stop your sneeze, but I don't have to sneeze Listen, at this moment. Spiritual growth is happening, life tips are happening, life hacks, I mean, you can find okay, out everything your hiccups. here. This, I probably should have fielded these before <laughs> I went through this. Scratch your ear to relieve a tickle in your throat. Oh, okay, all right, oh, well that's duh. Okay, you can't touch your left hand to your left elbow. Well, yeah. I know, of course. <laughs> I mean, you can't do it with either. But maybe there's some people <laughs> that like. Do. How is that even possible? That's so far. Talk about social distancing. My hand will never touch my elbow. It's like, why Why are they, Why? that's so weird. Why did they say your left hand to your left elbow? Why not right hand to right elbow? It, it makes it sound like well, it's I'm possible sure it's with way. one, I'm sure it's but not way. possible. That I look like a T-Rex <laughs> up here just trying to touch my elbow. This, the elbow on the skin feels no pain. That I know. No pain? No pain. Ever? It's just like, it's like a dead spot on your body. I don't know, man. So like if someone ever... I got tattooed on my elbow and I felt that. Well, that's not, the that's bones, not this so. skin though. They're going, they're penetrating beneath to the nerves. I mean, it said are. the skin on your elbow has no feeling. There's like no nerves in that skin right there. I mean, I still feel it though. Uh, it's like, it's like if you're numb though. Like when you're numb, like if you put a, uh, if someone numbs your finger or whatever, you can rub it, you can feel the sensation of it being rubbed, Ooh. but you don't have like feeling. Here's a good one. Your thumb and your index fingers match the length of your nose. Thumb and index finger. So like, what does that mean? So the like, length how of do my I... nose. <laughs> how do I measure this? You put your finger to your nose, man. That's so crazy. No, you're, you still have more finger to give though. Well, you know, I think it's relative. I think it's wrong because my I have tiny hands but a giant nose. So I don't think oh this I don't think this works. Like look at my nose. My nose is hmm. Is this working? I mean, and look, my nose goes longer than my thumb. I'm, I'm going you, all the way man, to the palm. I think all of these things were meant to make you look ridiculous. Okay. Like, well, then I now this it. makes sense. I do have one. Okay. Like look, here. I'm going to get up. Like try this at home. Okay. So you have to zoom in. If you put your hand like this, this is so, have you done this? I don't, maybe. You cannot lift your middle finger. Your middle finger. Like, look, you uh, gotta. Okay. Now. <laughs> or maybe it's your, yeah, it's your middle finger. <laughs> maybe it's this way. Oh yeah, it's this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta put, now I'll lift your ring finger. Yeah, I can't lift it, okay, yeah. that's it. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> okay, it's not working, it doesn't work. <laughs> Have you ever done this, Noah? Oh Nolan? my gosh. Have you ever tried this? Yeah, it doesn't work. Can you do it? I, I just tried. Okay, have you done it, Wesley? Come try it. You can't do it. You can't do it, see? <laughs> so that's one of those weird life hacks, it's crazy. Okay, so obviously there's a bunch of weird oh, no. things that we're bringing to light today, guys. And I know this is just like a very odd uh, digital ablaze that we're bringing to you today, Boom. but we just really wanted to bring out that there's some weird things out there yeah. that maybe the world will try to say will work for your life. Maybe the world will say, you mm. have to do this step and this step to succeed in life. You have to have this type of job. You have to have this type of relationship. Whatever it may be, the world's answers to things are not always gonna be consistent. Right. The one thing that is consistent is Jesus. It says yes. over in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus is is always the same yesterday, today, and forever. And over in 2 so Corinthians good. 1, 19 through 20, it says, Jesus Christ does not waver between yes and no. He is the one whom Silas, Timothy, and I preached to you as God's ultimate yes. 
He always does what he says, for Ooh, all of God's promises that. have been fulfilled in Christ with a resounding yes, and through Christ our amen, which means yes, or so be it, ascends to God for his glory. So basically, we just have to accept that God is truth, that God is, like it says, Jesus is the way, the life, and the truth. And yeah. if we accept that, and we believe it, and we give a resounding amen, basically saying, make it so, then it will come to pass. All the promises of God are yes and amen. No matter what, what you might think about what people have said about God, you yeah. have to dig in there and believe it for yourself because Jesus said, only believe. Yeah. And I love that scripture you read. It says that always, he always does what he says, yeah. which is super awesome. He doesn't waver. And, and it's true for every single person. Right. It's not like the hanger on the head where maybe it works for some, maybe it doesn't work for others. It's not like these little mind games that we're some playing. Some people's index finger is the length of their nose. Yeah, and, <laughs> I don't and know. there's so many things that are questionable. Right. Is this real? Mm -hmm. Is this true? Does that really work? Listen, God works all the time right. and he is true all the time. So we have to make sure. I wanted to read this scripture. I really absolutely love this scripture. Ephesians 4 uh, chapter, uh, you know, the book of Ephesians is like one of my favorites book in the whole Bible. But Ephesians 4, it says this in verse 14, then we'll no longer be immature like children, we won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We'll not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies mm. so clever they sound like truth. Right. So when it comes to God, there's a lot of people out there that will lie to you about him. Right. And there's a lot of people like, you know, even with the hanger, you know, it, it may not work, but they'll lie and be like, oh yeah, it'll work. Why? Because they want you to look foolish. They want you to do something stupid. Well, the devil's the same way. He wants to lie to us about God because he wants us to look foolish. He doesn't want us to receive from God. He doesn't doesn't want us to walk in the blessing God has for us. So we have to decide, it doesn't matter what people say about God, I'm gonna believe that He is the right. truth. He is the life, He is the way. And when you settle that in your heart, it brings faith about and you begin to receive what God right. is because you say, you know what? He is true, mm -hmm. His word is true, and since He's true and His word's true, it works right. for me. Yeah, and that's what we want to bring you guys today, that God's word works all the time. No For matter, you. Yeah, no matter what yep. someone has told you, no matter what yep. it feels like sometimes, you just have to establish it in your heart, believe it to be true, and accept it for your life, and that way you can walk out the things and the promises that God has called for and you. And don't be like a little child where you're constantly changing your mind about right. God's word and about your relationship with him. Be solidified right. in it. Be you have to know this is for me because God's promises, they work for me. They're truth, they're real, and he is consistent in all of his ways all the time. Amen. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next week on Digital Ablaze. Do something Woo! weird oh, and yeah. write us. Let us know. Does the hanger work on your head? Let us know if you can move your ring finger. Let us know if you have to sneeze and someone slaps you. Oh, Do you God. sneeze? I don't know. Let us know yeah, about your little mind hacks. We want to see your weirdness. Yeah. yeah. Love you guys. Bye.